Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Steam Fortress, Gunslinger, Suicidal. I let it pick a random map, and this is what it chose, so this is what we play. I only, uh... I only believe in the randomness. I only believe in the randomness. Everything else is, um... I have no idea where I'm going with this. Do you guys get, uh, bothered by, like, ass sounds? Because I do. Sometimes it just bothers my ears. Like, like, it's like a sensory thing, almost. It's just the, the S sound, but you know, it just, it just sounds weird, and it, like, feels wrong. I don't know why, I don't know how to explain it, but some, sometimes when I'm talking, I, I just want to, like, avoid the, the S's, you know? So it, uh, it sometimes I'll, I'll, like, actually do it, and, uh, I just, I actually won't <laughs> make the S sounds. I used to, actually, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I used to have to, uh, go to speech therapy, um, to learn how to say s's anyway because I, I used to pronounce them as like the you know i used to have that lisp that lift so i had to go to, i had to go to speech therapy i think it was at like my elementary school or something like that to learn how to say that because i had uh, i had problems with talking who would have thought good thing it didn't last you know good thing it didn't last where are we going yeah, it's a complicated thing, right? And it's, uh, I think it's, it's always kind of lasted with me with that, that S sound. It's just a very unpleasant thing for me. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't notice it, but sometimes it just grates on my ears. And it's such a common sound, too. Like, S's are so used in so many things. Everywhere. Because it's like... That's the plural, you know? Like, if you have more than one of a thing, then you have multiple things. Right? The, it's the plural of everything. It's it's the con like contracted forms of so many things, like it's and so many words use s's and have that sound in it. And I'm not uh, I'm not into it. I'm not a fan of it. Kill that shrieking cow! When you were uh, when you when you guys were kids, I mean I'm, I'm sure some of you guys are still kids, but when you guys were kids, uh, did you guys ever play that game? I don't know. It's probably like a game that I'd, I'd still play today, honestly. But. Uh, where you like ban a letter, right? So you can't say anything that has the letter E in it. You can't say yes or people, hello. Um, you, know, you ban a you ban a letter, and like whoever says a word that has it first uh, loses. You guys ever done that? It's a fun game because it kind of kind of gets you thinking, and uh, I always always kind of respect that in a game. Please. I always kind of respect that in a game when it uh, when it gets you thinking about things that you normally wouldn't be thinking about. Because how often do you think about what letters are in the words that you're talking as you're talking, right? I think, um, especially for kids, I think that's actually probably like a pretty good game for them to play and uh, and try to be better at because it yeah it, it gets you thinking about the letters that are in words and that's probably like a good learning tool for for kids who are learning the alphabet or, or how to spell and stuff, right? Probably? I don't know. Maybe? I used to play it though when I was uh, in elementary school. Would have been third grade? Fourth grade? Hey. Third grade or fourth grade? Um, you, would, uh, you would do whole days of it. And uh, you, you couldn't say the letter E on, like, Wednesdays, and you couldn't say the letter A on, like, Tuesdays or something, you know, like. And it was, uh, it was good fun. It was good fun. It was good fun. And the thing is, you can't just, like, not talk, right? Like, you have to talk. Yeah, you're in school. You have to respond to the teacher asking you questions you, you're gonna be having conversations in, on lunch break or something and the first one to mess it up is the one who loses there's no risk or anything right like we're like eight years old seven years old or whatever in grade three i don't know something like that you didn't uh, you didn't have risk you weren't putting bets on it but uh it was it was it was good fun anyway you were made the laughing stock for a moment, just people were like, "Ha ha, dummy! You said people that has e in it." 
It's usually it's usually when you mess something up like that, it's it's typically a word that's just so common that you'd forget about it. Like it's of and you know, something like that. Where you just naturally say it and you don't really think of it as like a word or anything, right? It's, it's typically how you'd lose. It's typically how I lost. Kind of reminds me of uh, the puzzle my DM gave uh, gave me once. My DM in uh, D and D, they, they, he he gave us uh, a puzzle. It was uh, there were like three orbs or something, and uh, one of them they 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 did they they affected our characters in different ways. So uh, like what things we could talk about. We had to end every sentence with an S. Uh, somebody had to start every sentence with an S, and somebody couldn't use the letter S. Did I say number S? I might have. Uh, and uh, so, so we picked it up. It's like you have to start every sentence with the letter S. You have to start every sentence with the letter S. I'm like, all right. I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> it, it, it was like, and you can't talk about it. You can't. You can't say that uh, that you have this. You just you have to do that now. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't have anything to talk about, so... <laughs> like, cool orb. It's like, you, know, you pick up the orb and you're like, so I got this orb. And somebody else would be like, yeah, there's a bunch of orbs. There's nothing unusual about that, right? So, um, eventually, uh, one, of, one of the... One of the party members was like, "Can you? Do you have to start every sentence with an S?" I'm like, "Yes." And then the the DM's like, "So you guys were supposed to be talking and having this like back and forth and like going off of each other with with having to start or end or be afraid of the letter S or whatever." And we're like, "Yeah, the issue is there is nothing to talk about because we couldn't say what the orb did once we picked it up." <laughs> so, like, we were kind of just silent for a little bit. <laughs> Um, so you gotta, when you, when you do that kind of challenge or something where you have, uh, restricting your, your speech, you have to make sure that you have some kind of an incentive to talk. Gosh, diggity darned it. I meant to sell the nine mils. Gotta make sure that you have some kind of incentive to, uh, to actually do the talking, right? Otherwise, people just aren't gonna do it. And if nobody's talking, then it's no fun. You ain't... I like how the dual nine mils are still in the uh, secondary, even though they are dualies. They're like trash tier weapons. So even if you upgrade them all the way, the stupid like the the stupid damage stat on the trader thing, it'll 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 be like yeah these are like super good once you upgrade them all the way. They're still garbage. The damage stat on that it still annoys me so much. Maybe that's what KF3 fixes. It is it finally gives you numbers again in the. <laughs> trader window because these stupid bars if, if the bars were like accurate it'd be okay but they're just like not so they're just useless they're just useless bars it's like yeah it says big damage no it doesn't it, it just doesn't <laughs> what are you doing it's uh it's quite annoying especially for like newer players who are going off of that to decide what, what weapons they want to use and stuff you know because uh, because people will right like they'll 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 take the the damage bars in uh in the uh, in the trader menu and and they'll like be like okay so that's how much damage it has because that's what it says it's just lying to you so you get a lot of new players who end up like upgrading their uh nine mil all the way like yeah it's like a good weapon once you upgrade it it gets a lot of damage and like, why isn't my 9 mil killing anything? Yeah, because it doesn't actually get any damage from being upgraded. It's still garbage. The the stupid trader thing just thinks that... So I, th I think the way it works is the trader menu just like... Because the upgrades, the tiers, um, they just add like a percentage to your damage and stuff. So I think that the, the trader menu, menu just like... Um... like adds that percentage to the bar based on each upgrade but uh you know the the bars weren't like there's there's like a ta uh, a cap on it you know so it's just kind of dumb 
And then I think that when they first made the, like, trader, there wasn't upgrades, or were there? I don't think there were, right? I don't think there were. There might have been, but I don't, I don't think there were. Uh, so when they first made it, maybe the damage number, the damage bars made sense at that point, because you couldn't upgrade, and the upgrade thing didn't, like, do a whole bunch of weird stuff with it. And then, uh, you'd be able to see, like, the relative power of each weapon. Maybe? That's, that's, that's the only reason I can maybe come up with that would make, uh, any sense at all. I'm unsure how true it is, though. Either way. Either way. It's garbage, so don't use it. Upgraded 9 mils, no good. I love... That's why I love Steam Fortress, honestly. I'm being completely sincere. The only reason Steam Fortress... Yeah, I can't afford it because I blundered my dang eagles. The only reason uh, I love Steam Fortress so much is because when you pop in, you can, like, get just yeeted through existence. Through space and time itself, and it's a beautiful thing. You have been killing my test subjects. When Hans pulls out his guns, stay out of the line of sight. Obvious, but important. Okay. How about he pulls out his guns, and I just stand right here. How about I just stand right here and kill him? Oh, that's bad. Never mind. He, 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 if, he, if he didn't throw the grenades, it would have been bad because he would have grabbed me and it would have wasted like 15 seconds. <sighs> would have been disastrous. I have no water, dude. I got a single drop. A single droplet of... I want this weapon. Can I have that? What is that? Like, what? what kind of gun is that? I don't even know. I don't know. I want that skin though, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Survivalist. We're gonna prestige this all the way to max prestige. We're never playing it. I promise you that I will never play Survivalist, but we will get it to max prestige just through <laughs> other classes, killing clots and getting like a few hundred XP per match. When you play thousands of matches, it works. Uh, anyway, on to the next Steam Fortress here. On to the next Steam Fortress. It's a good day today. Yesterday was a bad day. Day before that was a good day. Today's a good day again. If we follow the pattern, tomorrow should be a terrible day. Tomorrow's a Tuesday. I have no responsibilities. I'm thinking tomorrow should be a good day. If I were to take a guess, I'd say tomorrow's a good day. Uh, today's a good day, though, just because I feel good. I don't know. You don't, you don't have to have a reason for something to be a good day. Sometimes you're just having a, a great time. Having a great time. Having a good time. How's the song go? Because we're having a good time. Having a good time. Superstar shooting through the... What? How's it go? Something, something like that, right? It's, it's, some, it's something around there. Shooting through this? Is it shooting through the stars? How? Um, this is gonna bother me. Uh, what's the song? Having a good time, shooting star. Don't stop me now. Yeah. Uh, cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. Uh. A shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. Yeah, it's a good song. I mean, like, really any song by Queen? I uh, yeah, no, I, I I like all tabbed over to it, and then I was like mousing around, but you can't see that. Any song by Queen is really like pretty good, but I I really like that one. That's one of my favorites for sure. And you got, you got like the, the classics, you got like Bohemian Rhapsody, you got, uh, you know, and that's, that's it, right? But uh, Don't Stop Me Now is definitely my, my favorite. I know there's other ones. But we Will Rock You. Um, I, can't, I can't, I could not actually name that many Queen songs. Um, I mean, I couldn't name many songs in the first place. Okay, I can name uh, Cat. 
from Minecraft. <laughs> uh, there's uh, there's another one though. I know another one. I can't. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Now those are the those are the songs of, of Queen that I can name. So, but regardless, um, don't stop me now is definitely my favorite. Don't stop me, cause I'm having a good time. Oh, it's a good, it's good, it's good stuff, dude. It's good stuff. I, uh, I've been listening to the YouTube mix thing that's auto-generating. It's not giving me any queen. I might have to feed the algorithm some queen so that uh, we start to get some of that. Cause I'm, I'm noticing now that that's, uh, that's a problem that I'm having with the, with the like algorithmic playlist generation. And that it's not giving me songs that I haven't listened to recently. And that's kind of, well, I mean, it kind of is, but. I want to, uh, it gives me uh, the epic sax guy actually a lot. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm into it, okay? I, I, th I think I think it's a, a, a lovely song. I honestly, like, there are a lot of songs that are like meme songs that I just genuinely enjoy. Like, the epic sax guy. Um, Rick Astley, Never Gonna Let You Down. It's a good song, you know. Like Rick, Rick roll aside. I mean, it's a good song. It's, it's just a, it's, it's 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 good stuff, dude. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna run around and hurt you. How's that go? Is that, is that how it goes? Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Something like that, right? It's a good song, though. I like that song, too. We got, uh... There's a bunch of meme songs that I like that uh, that I listen to on occasion. I'm trying to look through the mix to see if I can find some that are, like, there right now. Oh, the, um... You know that song with the two cowboys and then the the like grandpa in the background that's just like screaming. Um, what's it called? It's called Big Enough. That's right. That's right. Stop! Stop! Don't do this. Um, we'll just we'll just put this on here real quickly. So if we just put this over here, Big Enough. I don't want to get copyrighted, but that song, I like it. Okay, I think I think it's just a pretty good song. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other songs that are like meme songs that I uh, that I can enjoy. Oh, yeah, I I listen to um, "Dumb Ways to Die" on occasion. Like that pops up in the mix. I can get down with that. You know, dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. It's a good song too, okay? Um, I can't get into like some songs are too memey, you know, like uh, like the duck song. Have you guys heard of the duck song? I mean, it's a it's a nice song. It's a funny song. I've uh, I've watched the the music video a few times for it. It's a funny song. Is it necessarily a song that I would listen to for like fun? No, it's if it were to pop up in the uh, in my YouTube auto-generated playlist, I would hit the not interested button and then carry on. It's not it's not necessarily a song that I'd want to jam out to, but it it is a humorous song. Um, I get uh, oh like where, what does the fox say? I ding 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 ding. You know, I I can get down with it. Uh, what's another one? I'm trying to trying to think. You know what? Let's screw it. Meme songs. The ultimate meme Vine songs collection. Do you have a list of all the songs? Yes. Africa. Yo, I can get down with Africa. Um. The final countdown. I can get down with that. A thousand miles. I would walk a thousand miles. 
and I would walk a thousand more just to be the guy who walked a thousand miles to end up at your door or whatever. I can get I can get behind that. Yeah. Piano Man is an amazing song. Piano Man is an amazing song. Yeah, let's, let's I'll show you this. You get to see it too. Piano Man's amazing. Um, let the bodies hit the floor. I'm into it, but I, I'd, I'd probably want to skip that. Um, turn down for what? Nah, not for me. It's not for me. Sail! I can get down with that. I, 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 I can do sail. Absolutely, dude. I ain't no holler back, girl. Yeah, I, I can get bound that. Oh, Scatman? Absolutely. That's a fantastic one right there. Love that. Um, All-Star? Absolutely, dude. The Sound of Silence is fantastic. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Lovely, that song. If you go, actually, hold, we're, we're getting into some The Sound of Darkness, 1965. It's this, it's this thing. Left it seeds while I was Love it. It's great. But if you uh, if you take a look at the uh, comments on these songs. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. That line alone is so deep and sadly depressing, but says so much. Don't you agree? I always thought it's somewhat like depressed feeling song. I didn't know until now that it has the bright, positive ending. It was meant to be a bright, happy song, but I'm like, no, it, it's literally not, though. It's literally, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I, I love reading the comments on, on old tisk, tisk, what a shame. stuff like that. You know, you know, it's just kids. You can't, like, I'm not, like, they're, they're just literal kids. Like, it's fine. They're, they're just kids being kids. But that's, like, a problem, right? Because, like, those, kid, those kids, you know, when they grow up, you know, that's, that's out on the internet now, you know, and, and, and that's a mild thing to have out on the internet. Like, you'd probably laugh about that in 20 years or something, thinking uh, the sound of darkness, you're, you're, you're being deep or whatever, being like, yeah, I think it's kind of like a depressed song. It's like, yeah, well, it, it is a, a commentary on the impact of technology on modern life and, you know, people's ability to have inter communicate or interpersonal relationships and have meaningful conversations with each other while they're um you know not distracted by the neon signs and stuff kind of hanging up like it's, it's not necessarily <laughs> a, a bright happy song right it's um it's a, it's a little bit it's, it's supposed to be a i wouldn't say a depressed song but it it, it, it is a a song that is a little bit disappointed you know they're they're, they're expressing their disappointments in the uh, the state of the world and, and it's not necessarily a bright happy song but those are those are some great comments I think because yeah it's, it's just kids being kids you know but I love reading it because you can always go to any video with uh, with a song that's old and has a little bit of edge to it You'll be able to find uh, a bunch of kids posting in the comments about how they really resonate with this song, and all these all these new songs that are coming out just aren't as good. This is this this was the gold. It's it's so it's so fun. It's so much fun. But it is a problem, right? Like that's that's a pretty mild example of uh, of kids posting stuff on the internet. Like nobody's going to be not hiring them because they posted a comment on the sound of darkness or the sound of silence when they were, you know, ten years old or whatever, and they were. A little bit silly about it nobody nobody's gonna not hire you for that but like you, you could post on something stupid on your Facebook or something and you know, like I know kids who have uh, posted like nudes and I'm like all, all right so we're gonna just take that down now and you're not gonna do that again okay <laughs> like you just don't do that okay that's not that's not right, but it's like so many kids are doing that, right? Because they, they think it's funny or, or they have like a funny joke and they're like, it was just my pee pee, but like, no, it's like a major problem, right? It's like a major problem. And, uh, you know, people might uh, comment on other people's posts with, with inappropriate remarks or whatever. And 
It's like that stuff's just out on the internet. It's like, I don't know, how. as, as a parent, how do you even, like, prevent that? I'm not personally a believer in uh, in using stuff like Net Nanny or whatever to uh, monitor your kids' internet usage. I'm more a fan of like, just don't let them on the internet, dude. What are we here, boys and girls? Like un until they're responsible enough to use the internet, I think that you shouldn't be. If if, if, if I'll, I'll put it this way: if you're concerned about them doing stuff they shouldn't be doing on the internet, don't let them on the internet. I don't have a kid. But uh, that's that's kind of my personal belief of it. I mean, I I had uh, I had something like that when I was a kid. I got caught. My uh, my friend and I came home one day, and uh, my parents were sitting in the living room like we have to talk. Um, we were like 13 years old or whatever at the time, and uh, my parents were like, so our ISP has called us and told us that there's been a lot of downloads of some less than savory content. We'll say. And, uh, like, that's a problem. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so they ended up installing, like, Net Nanny and some stuff on my computer. I just uninstalled it. <laughs> like, it didn't do anything. I was just like, oh no, Net Nanny. Alright, I'll just uninstall. You can't actually uninstall it. What you can do is just format your computer and then just reinstall the operating system and start anew. And then it's gone, which is what I did. And then it was no longer there. I'm like, you can put it on as much as you want. It takes me like 20 minutes to just reinstall the operating system. It's not a big deal. I ended up uh, just dual booting. So I'd have one that had it and then one that just didn't. Well, it wasn't because I wanted to watch a ton of porn. It was because uh, it was like just slowing down my computer. I still had an iPod, okay? It w I, I had no issues with, uh, with, with, with finding the content that I needed at the, at the time as a 13-year-old testosterone-filled little girl. Um, but uh, it, was, it was just bad, so that, that's, that's why I don't feel like, uh, like it's, it's necessarily the greatest idea. Because if your kid's gonna, like, you can, it doesn't do anything, you know? I mean, you, you gotta worry about, like, people on the internet who are gonna, like, manipulate your kids. Net Nanny and stuff like that isn't gonna be able to protect against all of those anyway, so you should be monitoring your kid. If, if you're not comfortable with them on the internet yourself, making sure that they don't do something stupid. You know? I'm not dead. So it's just, uh, it's just a little bit silly, but... It is, it is a problem, right? Like, kids are putting stuff out there on the internet. You know, I did a lot of stupid stuff as a kid, okay? A lot, a lot, of, a lot of stupid stuff when I was a kid. And, uh, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily want you guys to know about. Okay? And I'll, I'll talk about almost anything. There, there are things that I wish you wouldn't know about and things I, I won't talk about, okay? I mean, I'll probably talk about them eventually. But there are things that wouldn't be good for it to just be public knowledge without me having some kind of way around, uh... To, to, to kind of put it in a better light, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, th I, but these days, you know, kids are growing up and, and that kind of stuff is just on the internet. They don't get the choice to be like, you know, I regret that. I wish I didn't do that. You know, I've changed, I've grown, I've, I've learned from the mistakes and it's on the internet. People are going to be looking at it for years to come and, and, and judging you for it, which is, uh, Sad, for sure, because uh, there's going to be a lot of kids who just uh, have trouble, like, especially if you want to get into social media or something like that, like, people go back years to find stuff that you did wrong, and uh, anyway, that's really the moral of the story here, is that um, those kids ain't doing nothing wrong, it is because they're just being funny, but, uh, you know, you think about kids who were doing something a little bit that was that was a little bit different and in a, in a bit of a worse light you can you can it's, it's, a, it's a scary thought anyway um that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye